So I've been fishing for about four and a half decades now. And I've been fishing for that period of time in the Fraser River. Salmon is pretty much integral to who we are. Salmon means people of the river. So that's our association, but it also is considered the river of all rivers. Back then we fished three days a week. All year, there was an abundance of fish. People fished till they couldn't fish anymore. And today it's a much different world. I think we are in a crisis. The salmon are in a crisis. It's a good thing they're resilient. There's hope, at least, for the fish to return. But we have to give them a chance. The lower Fraser is really interesting for Pacific salmon in that almost all species of salmon have to pass through the lower Fraser as they go back to their spawning grounds. And it means that anything we can do to restore and improve habitat in the lower Fraser River can have benefits for all populations that move through. The state of salmon is really important because we need to know if there's a conservation concern. And if we don't know, we don't have any sense if we might need to intervene with conservation or management measures to help support the population. The Pacific Salmon Foundation has been working really hard on the Lower Fraser. We have a big network of partners and collaborators, and we've been doing a lot of things, including working on breaching the dike in the north arm of the Fraser to create access for salmon. We've also been working with partners like the Lower Fraser Fisheries Alliance to develop a heart of the Fraser conservation strategy for this critical part of the Lower Fraser River as well as developing projects with partners in the Big Silver River. There are some encouraging signs of recovery that we're seeing in the Fraser. And if you look at Fraser Coho, that's a great example. They've rebounded after having decades of being at historic lows, and that's really encouraging. What worries me the most is what's coming for salmon in the future. And by far the biggest threat to salmon, in my opinion, is climate change. And so we need to do our best to be able to support salmon and being resilient to these changes, protecting the habitats that are likely to give them the best fighting chance to succeed, and to protect those populations that are likely to persist in the face of a changing climate. Collaboration is key. If we don't act soon, and you know, we're gonna leave it to the next generation. We don't wanna we don't wanna have a legacy like that. And we know that they're resilient enough to come back even under the worst of conditions. And if we just give them a bit of chance as people, as humans, then I think we'll be okay. What excites me about the future for salmon is that what we do at an individual and a community level can make a difference. Here we are in the Fraser and you have salmon coming back. Being able to make a difference even when the odds are stacked against salmon is really inspiring. And for me on a personal level, motivates me to find those big wins, not just the small ones, but the big things that we can do for salmon. Mm -hmm.